Yeah, so now we know that there are no criminal charges coming against that second grade teacher, but parents are concerned about what type of precedence this sets that teachers can be in the classroom while intoxicated. It is not illegal to teach drunk. The shocking discovery after a months long investigation into Sutter County second grade teacher Wendy Munson, who was arrested last October for driving drunk and child endangerment. There was the possibility that she drank after she arrived at the school. That's why District Attorney Jennifer Dupre couldn't file any charges, even though investigators say the teacher was on the job with the blood alcohol content level two times the legal limit. With any job, if you show up to work intoxicated, it's a fireable offense, I would imagine. Consistent with most schools, New Estro Elementary is a drug and alcohol free zone. The staff handbook stating that for violators of this, the board shall require termination when termination is required by law. I certainly don't support anyone teaching children drunk, but I can't charge them criminally. Dupre says there is also inconsistency in the law for child endangerment, saying it's a matter of proving the teacher would endanger versus may endanger the children. And we couldn't prove that her intoxication would endanger them. Parents think teachers should be held to a higher standard. Being a school teacher is a little bit unique because parents are entrusting their children to a teacher into the school. But the law disagrees, leaving it up to districts to decide how to discipline. So we tried because I don't like the conduct. It's not acceptable, but unfortunately it was not criminal. So I am still working to get a response from the district, but on its website, Munson is no longer listed as a teacher. According though to the Commission of Teacher Credentialing, a credential could be revoked from a teacher if they do engage in this type of misconduct, except it's really on a case-by-case -case basis.